The stock iOS QuickType keyboard is definitely iconic. While it has changed quite a lot over the years, it still retains its unique look and that unforgettable touch sound. And every time I use it, I'm still reminded of the day I purchased my first iPhone. Today we will be taking a look at some great third-party keyboard apps for iOS that offer much more than just, well, nostalgia. Kicking off the list is my personal favorite, SwiftKey. A highly customizable keyboard with a ton of handy features that allow you to type faster and more accurately. Even though it's not as feature-packed as the Android variant, it still comes with support for over 150 languages, a bunch of different themes to change the look and feel of the keyboard, and it even allows you to type by swiping your finger from letter to letter on the keyboard. But what I like most about SwiftKey is that this keyboard learns from my writing style and improves its suggestions over time. It might not sound like it, but the feature is actually quite handy and saves me a ton of time while I'm typing out names, addresses, email IDs, etc. However, if you haven't used SwiftKey before, you won't get tailor-made suggestions right out of the box. You'll need to give it some time to learn from your typing habits. And once it has enough data, I'm sure you'd be amazed at how accurate the suggestions are. Next up, we have Google's own Gboard for iOS. Yep, you can get Gboard on iOS and it's actually pretty good. Much like the Android variant, Gboard on iOS also supports swipe inputs, which can really improve your typing speed once you get the hang of it. It also includes a bunch of other handy features including voice input, autocorrection, multilingual typing, along with a couple of customization options. You can choose from a number of different themes and add or remove a couple of extra rows from the keyboard. On top of that, Gboard also comes with a one-handed mode which makes typing a whole lot easier if you are using a large device. This makes it a great option for those of you who have an iPhone XS Max or an iPad. While all of that's cool, the best part about using a keyboard from Google has to be the search integration. By default, Gboard has a bar on top where you can search for anything, translate words from a different language, find GIFs or create some if you can't find the right one. The keyboard also includes a feature called predictive search which analyzes whatever you are typing and suggests a contextual search that might help you find more information. Now check this out, if I type want to have dinner tonight, the keyboard instantly queues up a search for restaurants near me. Isn't that great? If you often make mistakes while typing on your phone, then this next keyboard app is the one for you. The Grammarly keyboard gives the infamous autocorrect feature a functional twist and provides you with suggestions to correct mistakes that you might have made while typing out a message. The keyboard analyzes whatever you type in real time and offers suggestions to improve the grammar, correct the spelling and even the punctuation. It also provides you with short explanations for the suggested corrections which will help you avoid the same mistakes in future. While the free version of the app covers all the basics, the paid version offers some advanced grammar checks. Now this will definitely improve your writing skills. It even has a vocabulary enhancement and synonym finder which you can use to learn new words and make whatever you write look a bit more impressive. Grammarly should be your go-to choice if you are absolutely sick and tired of grammar Nazis pointing out every little mistake in your text. It's definitely worth it. Flesky is another great option you can go for if you want a keyboard that's functional and minimal at the same time. Although the keyboard looks pretty basic at first, it comes with a bunch of customization options that you can use to completely change its look and feel. You can change the color profile, add extensions to the keyboard for more functionality, or use the inbuilt app integration to share GIFs, memes, videos, and songs. With the extensions feature, you can add a number row, cursor control, one-handed use control, hotkeys, predictions, and more to the keyboard. While all that's pretty great, Flesky swipe gestures are what help it stand out. On Flesky, you get access to multiple swipe gestures that really help in improving your typing speed. You can swipe left to delete the last word, swipe right to add a space, write twice to add punctuation, swipe down to change suggestions, up to add a new word to your dictionary. You get the point. While I was using Flesky on my phone, I noticed that these swipe gestures do take a bit of getting used to. 
but once I got the hang of these basic gestures, I did get significantly faster while typing on my keyboard. Rounding things off is a keyboard called Reboard. It's an app that brings best of both worlds. With Reboard, you can get a great selection of customization options, including themes and some amazing utility features like text shortcuts. Yep, that's right. Reboard lets you create text shortcuts that you can use to quickly type out words or phrases that you use quite often. And setting it up is also quite easy. Just head to the text shortcuts in the setting, tap on a shortcut and customize it however you want. Now, seasoned iOS users would know that this functionality is there in the iOS keyboard by default as well. You just have to go to the settings and do it. Now, Reboot takes the app shortcuts feature a step further and allows you to interact with other apps on your phone right from the keyboard. You get the option to choose which app shortcuts you want on the keyboard and configure what each shortcut does. For instance, I've set up the YouTube shortcut to look up videos on the platform. This allows me to quickly share any video with friends. Isn't it neat? Well, that sums it up. Now, which of these keyboards are you going to try out first? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to Guiding Tech if you want more such cool app recommendations. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you in the next one.